Well, thank you so much for logging on to NBCSportsBayArea.com for another one of our first five California interviews. And this is really special. This is a treat because Mike Kruko is not only the father of five, he's a grandpa. So you can add so much perspective to First Five's motto of talk, read, sing, it changes everything. I mean, five kids. You never had the TV on, I bet. No, we didn't know. I mean, they were the entertainment. And, uh, you know, we, we believe in, uh, in read and sing. I mean, music's a big part of our gig. And uh, all my kids are musical. And now all my grandchildren, are, both of them, they're very musical. Uh, uh, my kids, you know, we, it was always an instrument out. There were guitars and banjos and drums. And, you know, they, they just kind of, and they all play now, except for my oldest son, who's, he's uh, dubbed himself the uh, karaoke master, which is hysterical. But they all love to sing. And, and, uh, and they are very talented, too. I've, I've been fortunate enough to listen to you guys. But you, you had jam sessions as a family. Well, we do. We, I mean, and the holidays are always jam, jam sessions, but we keep them in-house, you know. Yeah. They're fun. But, uh, and reading. I mean, uh, we, we love to tell stories. And, you know, stories were not always out of a book. You know, we'd tell stories, and, and uh, we did Jasper and Podgy stories, and, you know, it was great. But uh, So my grandchildren now, when they come over, we have the reading chair, which is just a real comfortable little uh, chair with an ottoman and uh, uh, and they can't wait to get there with grandpa they get in there and they kind of burrow in you know and us and we read books it's pretty fun but when they come over to the house the first thing they want to do before they get to the reading chair the reading chair is like number three is they want to go in the music room and they play the drums and uh, and we sing and my wife plays the piano and it's just a big deal right and then we go into the computer and we go to YouTube. They like YouTube because we go to old musicals. And my granddaughter, who's he's, she's four, I mean, Debbie Reynolds is like her. That's that's her. She likes Debbie Reynolds. So the Singing in the Rain and all these old movies of Gene Kelly and Donald O'Connor, you know, My Fair Lady, a Music Man. I mean, she knows the words to these things. It's just amazing how they absorb. So it's a big part of our gig, and it has been for well a couple generations. I'm usually talking to current players about this topic, and most of them have little ones running around, and, you know, it's about uh, changing diapers and venting about the game while they're changing a diaper or having little ones who could care less about how you performed out on the field that night. And when you were playing and, and had very little ones, uh, you know, what did that mean to you that they didn't care about who you were as Mike Kruko, the pitcher? You were dad, and that's all that mattered. Well, I'll tell you one story that kind of sums that up. In 1987, I had my first shoulder surgery. I would have three. But my first one was, you know, it's a traumatic one. You know, you, you're kind of dinged up and you're getting older in your career. So I go and have my sur surgery. And uh, every day when we would come home from the ballpark, it was always a wiffle ball game. At the time, I had uh, three children, uh, uh, a son who was, I think, at 87. So he was eight. Then I had one that was four, and my daughter was two. So every day in the backyard, you know, I pitched to him. Dad, right-handed, pitching and whatnot. Well, when I had my arm surgery, I come in and I got my arm in a sling and I come home from the hospital and uh, here they are waiting and they're looking at me and they got the baseball bat and they got the wiffle ball and it was like, okay, bring on the left-hander, right? <laughs> so zero sympathy. It was just like, you're the BP guy, let's go. So I learned to throw left-handed yes, yes. and, uh, you know, and they expected nothing less. <laughs> Of course not. Um, what do you find, Mike, in your time having now you have adult children and with your grandchildren, but even for you when you were on the road as a player or you're on the road as a broadcaster, a good book, a guitar, music and reading and talking seems to just make people so much more well-rounded and a little more open-minded. And your children are very worldly. I mean, I bring up Wes, who, you know, produced and starred in Bass Ballet, Bass Ballet 2. If you haven't seen it, make sure you see it. I mean, you have incredibly worldly children. Well, they've kind of had to be. Uh, they, they can't, and we've always profess this is you can't be intimidated never walk into a room you don't own it's our motto and my mother and, and my dad and, and my my wife's mother and father they're all gregarious souls and they were very social and it was just kind of you know real easy for us to uh, to just start talking with strangers and whatnot and it's really served our children well um, a lot of them now are in cells and and you know they are um, 
and and two of them were journalist majors. That uh, and I've always believed, you know, you should you should know how to write. If you know how to write, you know how to think. If you know how to think, you know how to, to speak. And it kind of goes hand in hand. So it, it is, um, it's done well. I mean, we've been very fortunate. Uh, they've kind of carried it on. And now you see the grandchildren, and they're the same way. I mean, they don't walk into a room they don't own. I mean, they're just not intimidated by any, any of it. And, uh, you know, they, they, they like people, and it's fun. Okay, last thing for you. Best part about being a grandpa? Well, it's, it, the reading chair is pretty good when they're snag, snuggling in, you know. And you, I got two little moles burrowing in on me. That's pretty good. But it, it's just um, being able to see the world through their eyes. I mean, things that, that you forgot as a kid, you got to witness it through your children, and now you get to see it through your grandchildren, your children's children, which it's pretty special because they're doing the same things that we thought were important with our kids, and now our kids are doing it with theirs, and nothing better. Well, and I can attest, since my parents are grandparents, Bake, your, your son who has the kids, he's watching you and realizing that's what you were like with him at a time he can't remember. And it's so special to have that relationship. You're very lucky. And I can also say the Kruko family is absolutely contagious. If you're ever hanging out with them, you just want to be a part of it. Mike Kruko, you're the best. Thanks for logging on to NBCSportsBayArea.com for another first five California talk reads. It changes everything.